থেকে সম্পূর্ণ খুশি হতে পারছি না মাস লুট করা যখন যেটা মন করছে তখন সেটাই করছে because there are two types of parties one type of political party there's talk 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 but the trinamool congress does walk the talk usko five star facility jail mein milega mobile phone use karega jail ke andar se area control karega ki ye tmc की सौजन्य से पचपन दिन उसको नहीं पकड़ा गया Going straight across to details of documents accessed by CNN News 18 earlier in the day, which point to this uh, entire uh, shielding state protection to this uh, person that is Sheikh Shah Jahan, and there are reasons why, compelling reasons why we ask this question, ladies and gentlemen. Did the cops, did the Bengal police shield Sheikh Shah Jahan even in the past? Now, June 2019, an FIR named Sheikh Shah Jahan. Uh, in this case of 100 to 50 to 200 armed with deadly weapons vandalizing devdas mondal's home the victim tried to flee later he couldn't be traced the family has named sheikh shah jahan but nothing had happened charge sheet not available fir registered in the name of shah jahan later his name was deleted from the charge sheet there was a second fir in 2019 against sheikh shah jahan along with ghazi who threatened sandesh khali local devdas mondal and other and others mondal was beaten up abducted could not be traced and devdas mondal was later murdered In the investigation 23 people were named but only 6 were charged cheated probe against Shah Jahan still pending and charges in the FIR have been diluted further uh, during the filing of the charge sheet itself June 8 2019 Shah Jahan's men attacked her with firearms at Pradeep Mondal's house Sandeesh Kha Sandesh Khali local Pradeep Mondal was later murdered Sukant Mondal was pulled out of his shop and then murdered the trial did not start in this case the charge sheet was filed only four were charged out of 24 people named the prime accused shah jahan was not charge sheeted 2022 fir against sheikh shah jahan in the sarberia wbscdl station managers of a office attacked several were injured after being beaten up in the investigation seven including shah jahan were charge sheeted shah jahan was at that time shown as absconding in 2022 also the other one another detail ladies and gentlemen another fir Again Shah Jahan mob blocked roads assaulted police again no charge sheet has been filed in the matter even after one and a half years this is again the 2022 case now there are so many other cases even in this arrest it is on the assault on ed officials that he has been arrested but he was not handcuffed many questions have been asked even though the ladies and the people in sandesh khali are 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 hailing this and they were celebrating it that he has finally been arrested the bjp says this is nothing but hogwash Bengal BJP president Shukant Majumdar joins us at this point. Namaste Jai Hind Shukant ji thank you very much for your time. How would you Namaste. see Sheikh Shah Jahan's arrest after 55 days by the Bengal police? See after the 55 days Sheikh Shah Jahan has been arrested and it is merely a I was nothing more than that and it is a political uh, arrest nothing I feel so that uh, it is a political arrest. because from the beginning mamta banerji herself even the whole party was in a denial mode even few days ago mamta banerji inside the state assembly has stated that sajan is getting being uh, is getting targeted uh, uh, sajan been targeted by the ed and the opposition as well as the media so that was the mindset and that was the view of mamta banerji and her party Uh, for Shah Jahan and Sandesh Khali case, later on the same party, uh, who actually the party, the part political leadership, they totally denied that this kind of incident happened. Later on, two 164 has been uh, filed by police uh, itself regarding some molestation and rape, rape this, mm. that, etc. Now TMC mm. has suspended uh, Sheikh Shah Jahan for six years. so the stand point of trinamool congress is quite vague and it is shifting from one point to another point so i think at this point uh, tmc as a party is little bit confused they don't know what to do or what to not what not to do but it is surely we can state that mm. the 
amount of agitation performed by the Sandeshkali women, our sisters, our uh, mothers, and as well as the agitation by the BJP has led this incident, led the, the, this government to take this kind of drastic action. Hmm. But uh, Trinamool says that the BJP must learn Raj Dharm from Mamdadi and the Trinamool. Now the, see, this is the thing of TMC because they don't have any justification of that. First ask them why your chief minister, that is the chief minister of uh, TMC, few days ago stated inside the assembly that Shahjan uh, yeah, Shahjan is not accused and Shahjan is getting targeted, uh, being targeted by the media and mm. other people. It was the standpoint. Even mm. the uh, spokesperson of TMC mm. used to say that, that no molestation, no rape happened there. Now you are suspending Sheikh Shahjan. For what? Mm. So, first of all, let them mm. clarify their stand. Mm. True, but Shukantuji, is this the first time? Why is this Shia Jahan getting protected? Because we've got information which shows that even in 2022 and in 2019 there were charges against him, be it Devdash Mondol, Pradeep Mondol, Shukanta Mondol, or even that Sarberia, WB, SEDL, DCL manager's office being attacked. At that time, they had shown him as absconding. See, several cases are filed against the Sheikh Shah Jahan. Uh, cases filed against the Sheikh Shah Jahan, even the murder case. Uh, as you uh, correctly mentioned those names, Shukanto Mondol and mm. others. In that murder also, the Sheikh Shah Jan is the main accused. But several times, even you know, almost one year ago, I had a press conference regarding a DRI raid in the Kolkata mm. port, uh, regarding an assignment of drugs, which mm. is uh, ab approximately worth of... Right. 2000 uh, crore rupees in that uh, I have uh, in that press conference mm. I have accused the Sheikh Shah Jan along with Shibu Hajra mm. and they that that time uh, they have uh, actually filed case against me so this is the type of protection uh, Shah Jahan and his uh, mm. uh, colleagues used to get why because Mamta Banerjee has given the lease of these areas Sandesh Kali and Sandesh Kali is not alone I am assuring you that there are several Shandesh Kali Mamta Banerjee has created inside the state of West Bengal. There are several thousands of Sheikh Shah Jahans. They are roaming here and there in those areas. Mamta Banerjee has only one thing that from there, from her end, that you have to, uh, you have to manipulate the election, mm. you have to rig the vote, you have, to, uh, you have to win the candidate of TMC. But after that, next five years, you have the Jamindari there, you have the lease that you can do anything if you want. You can do the murder, you can rape, everything you want you can mm. do. And this is the actual uh, ground report of West Bengal that everywhere, in every district, you will get one or two small Sunday Kalis. But the charge against the BJP is that uh, you're deliberately targeting uh, Sheikh Shah Jahan. If this was the case, why was this not raised before? And this is just ahead of Lok Sabha elections. You just want an issue and you are trying to make this a big issue. Just to polarize the votes. I see several Ananji. Ananji BJP has tried several times <coughs> to raise the voice against mm. Sheikh Shah Jan. The same question was asked to the woman of Shandesh Khali. Siam media person asked the question that why mm. the woman did not raise the their mm. voice. But the woman has stated that, they have said, stated that, they went to police. Police told them, okay, go to Bhaijan and mm. make it, get it settled. So this was the approach. We used to have three offices of BJP in Sandesh Kali. You go with, along with your cameraman, ask them mm. to show where are, where are those offices. All those offices, they have been vandalized. Even the na in uh, last, uh, 22 second uh, at the day at the eve of uh, Ram Mandir yes. uh, inauguration, the Hindus present there they could not perform their rituals. So this is the scenario, ground scenario. 
and now everybody is re ready to raise their voice against Sheikh Shahjan, Shibu Ajra, Uttam Haldar and you know, you, you must remember one thing. These three peoples, Sheikh Shahjan, Shibu Ajra and Uttam Haldar, uh, the Uttam Shaddha, these three peoples are the mastermind. But only these three peoples are do, uh, doing, yeah, sorry, they are doing those things. It is not the truth. Mm. They have a team of 10 to 15 people. Mm. Even today, those people is those people are roaming there in Shandesh Khali. They should be arrested also. Hmm. 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 No, so they, they should be also arrested is what you are saying. But uh, right now the Trinamool is saying we have arrested Sheikh Chajan. You wanted him behind bars, we put him behind bars. Yeah, we have we have also suspended him from the party for six years. Now what is the issue that you have with the Trinamool? Now, the first thing is that the land grabbing, what do we, uh, land grabbing has been proved hmm. by every media house, even com government has accepted that, that this, this is a problem, real problem in the ground level. So, who will compensate? How will you compensate hmm. about that? Not only that, the so many women, they have been hmm. raped, murdered, uh, sorry, raped, molested by these goons. Who will compensate hmm. for that? And the whole team, whole racket should be busted there. Otherwise, after few days, few months, new Sheikh Shahjan will take birth. That's the thing, na? Hmm. So, you, you, this is not the oh, individual. This is not about an individual. Sheikh Shahjan is the byproduct of the of right. the system which was created by Mamta Banerjee after 2011. Right, so you're saying this is a system. One Sheikh Shah Jahan and putting him behind bars is not enough. You've got to weed out this entire system, which you allege has been made and created since 2011 by uh, Trinamool Congress under Ms. Mamata Bandhubhatiya. Shukantu Majumdarji, thank you very much for joining us live here on the, uh, on the right stand. Thank you for speaking with us. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you very much. Let, let's take the story forward and uh, bring in An An Anirban Banerjee, who, ba who is an analyst but also backs the Trinamool Congress, and Guru Prakash Paswan of the BJP is with us, Anirban Banerjee. So, Sheikh Shah Jahan, not arrested on charges of sexual assault as raised by the uh, Sandish Khali ladies, under in the presence of a magistrate, not even handcuffed, brought out after 55 days, and there are past cases where he's been declared absconding despite being present in Sandish Khali. So, can the Bengal police really pat itself on its back? Okay, so... Okay, nobody has to pat anyone on the back, but the fact is that uh, Shah Jahan has been arrested. And uh, regarding the uh, ED uh, raid or the ED uh, whatever adventure on 5th of January and the chaos that followed, there were FIRs, multiple FIRs filed by both ED and the West Bengal State Police. Then the High Court single bench uh, following a case uh, is, uh, registered before its bench uh, ordered an SIT and then the ED went to the division bench, obtained a stay order. The stay order was there. The MP Obishek Banerjee, mm. he raised the issue of that particular stay order. Then suddenly the case came up. The court ordered a clarification and within a couple of days, Shah Jahan was arrested. The moment court said that yes, the West Bengal police mm. as well as the ED or the CBI, anyone if required can arrest Sheikh Shah Jahan, the West Bengal police is the one who actually arrested him. The ED or the CBI has been an utter failure like as always under the Modi regime. So therefore, I don't think anyone has to pat anybody's back. Mm. I have just stated the facts. Whoever wants to take any side is free to take the side, but the fact is, it's the West so, Bengal so pressure, so pressure, pressure, pressure of the Shajan, courts, pressure uh, of the courts, and before CBI. ED or anybody else, or a central team, before ED or a central team could arrest him, the Bengal police arrested him. Is that how we should read it, Guru Prakash Paswan? Ananji, fifty-five days of torture, fifty-five days of gang rape. 55 days of sexual misconduct, 55 days of illegal transfer of agricultural land into fisheries by the ruling TMC strongmen. You cannot even go to the state police and register your complaint unless until you are aided by a TMC strongman. This is deeply unfortunate that we are living in 21st century 
but the woman from the marginalized section. I am very pained to say this on your show, Ananji, that Sandesh Khali is not only 75 kilometers away from Kolkata, it is more than 75 years away from Kolkata. What we have seen in Sandesh Khali is state-sponsored violence, state-sponsored torture, and especially for those, Mamta Didi says, Ma, Mati, Monush, especially for all the Matae of marginalized section. Sandesh Khali, as we are very well aware of the fact, it comprises of our scheduled caste and scheduled tribe population. And a lot of women have gone on record and said, and allow me to read one of the observation, a woman from the marginalized community who has been a victim of this structured institutional violence aided and supported by TMC has gone on record and said, they brought me into the party office where a group of people were drinking. For the next one and a half days, two of them tortured me in the party office itself. I was told that my husband would not take me back and so I should stay on with the men in the room. That they would give me a government job eventually. They said they would place even my husband's severed head on my palms if I complained about what they had done to me. This is a state run by a Mahila Mukhya Mantri. This is a state where the Mahila Mukhya Mantri speaks about the Asmita, about the Izzat, about the Samman of women. But I am really pained that in 21st century India, the aspiration, the respect, the dignity and the Izzat of our Matai and Bene from the marginalized section, from the SCs, from the STs, they are being tortured in this broad daylight under the support of the Congress. He's behind bars now, Guru He's under the support of Trinamool Congress. He's behind bars now. The Trinamool Congress is saying, Trinamool Congress is saying, we have arrested him. He's behind bars. He's been suspended from the party for six years. Ananji, Ananji, 55 days, and I'm sure you would remember. 2nd May 2021, it is a modus operandi, it is a textbook case of West Bengal. On May 22nd, 2021, when the TMC came back to power, what the slogan they gave? Khela Hobe. And what was Khela Hobe, Ananji? Khela Hobe was the thunder of violence unleashed on the streets of West Bengal. So we have to understand that the violence regime of the CPI, CPM, the communist violence regime has just been transferred to the TMC violence regime. This gentleman, Sheikh Shah Jahan, is none other than the nephew of Muslim uh, Sheikh who was an office bearer of uh, communist party in the same region. So what are we here to believe? In this 55 days, and I'm very sorry to say, I'm really sorry to say that the feudal and the so-called intellectuals of our country, they did not raise a single voice. They did not drop a single tear for our women. Whether they Sandesh raised the voice Kali, or not, see no one, one of the facts. Guru Sandesh Prakash Kali. Paswan is the fact that if the fact is the fact is that Bengal gave a resounding, overwhelming mandate to Mamta Bandhuvatiyaji. See, uh, and the, and it was like a never before return to power for her. So either Bengal is okay with what you are alleging is happening in Bengal. Or there's something grossly wrong. My question coming back to this story is, Anirban, if I were to take what you had said, are you saying that the Bengal police knew where Shah Jahan was? And before, since the court said anybody can arrest him, before anybody else arrested him, they arrested him, put him behind bars. Because if you look at him, he, neither was he cuffed, nor was he being treated like a criminal. He was walking around and the swag that he's showing, it looks like uh, he still has the backing and the confidence of the powers that be. And in the same matter, where the Home Minister of the State, standing on the floor of the house, gave him a clean chit. Anurban. Okay, first of all, regarding the handcuffs inside the court premises, nobody until and unless absolutely necessary, and by absolutely necessary, I mean absolutely necessary, should be handcuffed. Nobody. That is the Supreme Court's ruling. Not even handcuffs or the rope around the waist. You can't do that to anyone and whether who is a criminal, who is a not, who is not a criminal, that is for the courts to decide. No, it's not the just in court, even outside court. He was not cuffed. It's a, it's, a, it's a serious charge of sexual assault. Yes, you, you don't. Hmm. Serious charge of sexual assault. No, first of all, okay, uh, as far as... Outside court, yeah, not inside as far court. As, yeah. I, as I know, this present... Okay. 
So now the visuals that you are showing, this is inside the court, of, court premises. As I can see, many advocates are also present in and around the. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, so uh, when Shah Jahan is walking, to he the walked. Court he he got it. out of the van, and, and therefore, when he was picked uh, up, also from face, wherever he was brought, he had no cuffs. The cuffs were not taken off before he entered courts. But yeah, please yeah. go ahead. Okay. Anyway, so uh, first of all, the case when uh, mm -hmm. Guru Prakash is uh, referring to 55 days, that actually points towards. 5th of January, the date where the misadventure of the ED took place. Therefore, the parties, the BJP or the other opposition parties and even the media, they were asking questions for 50 days, for 51 days, for 52 days, uh, why Shah Jahan has, hasn't been arrested. And if you look at the specific order of the division bench of Calcutta High Court, the, if I am not very wrong, the date is 7th of February, the stay on operation was on the West Bengal police not on the ED or the CBI. Para number 8 of the concerned judgment of the concerned order, it was specifically mentioned that the West Bengal police is restrained from taking any action in these cases. Therefore, the stay on operation was on the West Bengal police. The ED or the CBI could have easily arrested him. There was no stay on their operation, but they did nothing. It was the West Bengal police who arrested him after the High Court Division bench issued a clarification that yes, you can go ahead with your operations. And therefore, Sheikh Shah, Jah uh, Shah Jahan has been arrested within a couple of days of the clarification being issued by the Honorable High Court. Therefore, the BJP was, was can it the, was it the, the, the West Bengal police that went to the court? Guru Prakash Paswan, was it the West Bengal police that went to court? To, to seeking action or was it the enforcement directorate that went to court? No, Anand, I think uh, my friend from the TMC is an expert in doing selective reading of the Calcutta High Court. The Honorable Calcutta High Court has only asked for and begged for the intervention of the state government when they took the cognizance of the indecent violence that was happening right under the nose of the TMC government. This is beyond my comprehension. We must not selectively read or interpret the judgment or the observations of the Honorable Calcutta High Court because by doing so, you are doing a great amount of disservice to the rule of law. It was the Honorable Calcutta High Court only that said that there is no rule of law in West Bengal. Let me remind my friend from the Trimnul Congress, the Honorable Calcutta High Court has said there is no rule of law but there is a law by the ruler. There is dictatorship. So you cannot selectively quote the observations of Calcutta High Court. And point number two, Anna, right. we are the ED right. and the CBI is constantly mm. being accused. It was because on the behest, on the initiative, on the intervention of the enforcement directorate that this office bearer of Trinamool Congress, and let me mm. put this on record, the Trinamool Congress hasn't issued an well, apology see, till now. One of the aspects most important point is right now is what happens to the cases so what happens to the what happens to the cases filed and the allegations made by the women of Sandesh Khali because none of those cases right now have been stuck or have been uh, have named Shah Jahan pending since 2019 till date ladies and gentlemen there are so many cases we leave it at that we'll continue to track this story thank you very much Guru Prakash Paswan and Anirban thank you very much uh, I'm, in, I'm in Abu Dhabi, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, tracking the 13th WTO ministerial, but keeping close tabs on what's happening close to home. Earlier in the day, I had the opportunity to speak with uh, one of the eight Rajya Sabha members who've come through from the, uh, Uttar Pradesh, RPN Singh. Listen into the conversation.